I'm Kimberly. Uh, welcome to the train yard. It's Monday afternoon and it has been so busy here considering we are <laughs> barely open for shop appointments today. Um, so I'm really glad that you can join us and also so incredibly grateful um, for how flexible so many of you have been with the, uh, the change. So we are just doing shop appointments now and then shopping on the website and <laughs> it's a uh, it feels a bit like running a marathon these days, but um, everyone's being so kind and understanding that it's making it so much easier. Yeah, C Kimberly, Crystal here in the <laughs> background. We're testing out some new mics today, so my voice might be a little bit louder because I am closer to the mic, but uh, Kimberly's going to be the star of the show. I'll answer the door. I'll, <laughs> I'll uh, be here if you have any questions for Kimberly, but she's going to walk us through some gifts that give back. I might even restart the Instagram one, folks, uh, Kimberly. I'll let you know because I might have started it on... Um, I just might restart it. So anyway, you keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. So um, we have so many, um, so many great things up on the website, but even more um, in store right now. So I am every day adding more things to the website and trying to, uh, to keep up with making sure that the inventories all match. Um, but if there's something specific that you see today that you can't then find on the website later, feel free to um, send me an email or, um, send me a message on Instagram. I never see your Facebook messages. <laughs> I'm so sorry. They just, they get buried very quickly because of the way Facebook works. So um, an email to hello at trainyardstore.com is probably the most reliable way. Um, but yeah, so we have um, this really great Nova Scotia adventure journal um, that is written uh, in Nova Scotia. It's um, by Jen Meza and it has just, having spent so much time around home this year, it has really great options for putting in your favorite restaurants, your favorite hikes, and things like that. So it is up on the website right now, um, and she is donating a portion of sales to uh, Mental Health NS. Um, so we do have, it's, it's getting a little bit low, but there are still some available on the website if you wanted to order that. Um, we also have our, every year we have these cutting boards from Ocean View Woodworking. Um, with the Dartmouth smokestacks um, and so this year we have a few that are up on the website that are sort of uniform in size and shape um, but we do have a really great selection we have a walnut one we have this really big beautiful charcuterie size um, size one and so any of the boards that are priced over um, seventy dollars a uh, portion of that sale is also going to our um, train yard connect community partners um, so I feel like there's a good chance most of you uh, probably uh, know a little bit about the train yard, but um, if you are just finding out about us now, hey, I'm Kimberly and uh, super glad you're here. Um, train Yard Connect is our community giving um, project. Uh, I don't know. It's, it's basically our favorite thing about <laughs> having a business. Um, so we do... 5% uh, of profits every year for our community partners. And so for 2020, that's the North Grove, um, Hope for Wildlife, and the McPhee Center. Um, so yeah, so part of the sale of the cutting board will go towards that. And then we also um, have a few other products in store. And then, yeah, again, everything, a little bit from all the sales all year will go to uh, our partners. I also talk really fast, so. <laughs> you are doing great. Okay, I'm a bit of a rambler. Um, and then we also have, uh, in the kind of goods that give theme, we also have these embroidery kits from Hookline and Tinker. And um, we just absolutely can't get enough of these. Lori keeps coming out with new kits and uh, every time they're more amazing than the last. Um, so she also works with, um, adds some hosts and donates. Um, so she donates a percentage of her um, sales, but she also, especially in non-COVID times, would donate her time to, um, to helping um, bring craft and things to um, centers like add some hosts. So um, we always, always love to have these in stock and there are lots right now to choose from on the website. So um, this is something I can confidently say if you were hoping to get um, and you go looking, you will find. <laughs> They're awesome. But, They're thirty dollars, right? They are thirty dollars, and varying levels of difficulty. So if you're a beginner, there's a <laughs> kit for you, and if you're an expert, there's a kit for you. Yes, and Lori designs them so that um, 
even some of the more complicated ones if you wanted to take it back a couple of steps and just use um, like the beginning stitches. Um, you can always kind of adapt it to your uh, level of skill. So if you want to feel really challenged, you can go that way. But if you just need something easy to keep your hands busy, there's an option there. Um, in the theme of DIY kits, we also have some stitching kits from Rita Van Tassel. Uh, so she is a Lunenburg, um, a Lunenburg artist. And she, um, you probably, if you, again, if you've been around for a while, during Nocturne in 2019, she did the octopus installation. So we have her um, sewing patterns for the octopus and for the whale. And then this year she launched um, sewing kits as well. So there's a shark, a penguin, um, a house hippo, and some hedgehogs. The house hippo is sold out right now, but we'll be back um, hopefully by early next week at the very latest, um, but the shark and the penguin are still up on the website and you can also uh, book an appointment and see these up close as well. Um, fabulous by the way Kimberly so many people tuning in and sending little hearts of love this is oh. great <laughs> I love those hearts of love um, yeah and so then uh, which way to go next um, maybe just we'll go into the cute next because it's right at the top <laughs> uh, so we have um, these beautiful hats from I'm in the loop every I think we've carried them for two winters maybe three winters now and I did not order enough uh, in the past. So this year we have still a pretty good selection. Um, if you were hoping, we, so we have um, quite a few for toddlers and kids left uh, and up on the website. And the selection for adults is also on the website. It is getting a little bit, um, a little bit lower, but there's still definitely options. Um, and there's some with pom-poms, some without, all sorts of different patterns and colors, so. Um, a few matching there. I know the I'm in the loop uh, style is definitely um, kids and parents kind of having matching options. So we are getting a little bit low on the matching options, but you might still uh, find something there. And um, hmm, maybe we'll go pottery before we go too deep into Dartmouth land again. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I just got our last order of Tesseramics pottery delivered on Friday. So these have been going super fast. Tessa has been working so hard to keep the pottery coming. Um, but this will be, um, so what's up on the website now will be our last, um, our last go. So we have, um, the space tumblers. We have a few of the heck cats, the grumpy cats. Um, we also, these ones, um, these ones won't be on the website. So she has um, a line of queer tumblers. Um, so this one says bisexual as heck. Um, there's one that says I'm so hecking gay. Um, they're all very, very cute. Uh, there's just only a couple of each uh, and time is not my friend these days. So these ones aren't on the website. Um, but if you are looking on um, Tessa's Instagram or something and you wanna check if we have something Again, just send me an Instagram message or um, send me an email and I will uh, let you know what we have and we can always arrange uh, for a and no contact pickup if you uh, don't want to book an appointment. Uh, but I just, they are so cute and I just had to mention those as well because yeah, they just won't make the website, I don't think. Whoops, a daisy. Sorry, Facebook audience. <laughs> Technical difficulties here. My apologies, Facebook audience. My apologies. There you go. You're good to go. <laughs> so funny. Um, I, for the Instagrammers, I just uh, my, literally I was trying to adjust my phone and it flew out of my hand onto the floor. So that was a, a wake up call. Here we are. Yeah, right. This is the most high tech uh, I've ever been. There's two cameras. <laughs> um, so then we also have these beautiful um, mugs from Amy Rosa Pottery. She's in Anaganish area um, and they're all... Um, so they all have this blue dot this time around. She is doing other colors that we'll have in the new year. Um, but it's just like the happiest bright blue. It's, uh, it's just such a satisfying size, nice and big, uh, perfect for like wrapping your hands around. And then because apparently today in the first time in my life, I'm really in a, a sales mood. I also have hot chocolate that would go so Ooh. nice in the mug. And so that was like TV magic. I, uh, <laughs> I kind of want to hate myself for that, but it was also just so well played that I'm also kind of really happy about it. So I'm going to go with that. 
Um, so we do have the Just Us hot chocolate. Um, I realized it wasn't selling on the website because it wasn't on the website. And so now it is. Uh, we have, they have four flavors. Um, so right now we have, I think, two flavors left, but the order should be here by the end of the week with all four flavors back in stock. So there's um, classic, which is dark hot chocolate. There's a milk chocolate. There's a uh, peppermint hot chocolate and a spicy hot chocolate. So lots of choices. Yum. And yes, it is what's left is on the website now, but more is coming. Um, and then we also, the Sisibu coffee, we keep ordering and getting it in and then uh, selling it just as fast. So that is also coming back this week. Um, and we'll just keep adding it to the website when it's here. Um, but again, you can always call um, because if, you, um, if you're missing it, we can always kind of account for your order when we, uh, when we get our restocks in our way. So coffee and chocolate and hot chocolate are all kind of easy to get restocked right now. Other things are definitely getting harder. So if you have your eye on something particular, um, definitely reach out sooner than later. Um, I guess another good segue is the chocolate. So, <laughs> and so oh man. Um, so these are um, Piece by Chocolate. We um, also carry their 15 pack box chocolates. So those, um, those are en route today and may very well get delivered while we're, uh, while we're talking. But we also carry their Pride Bar, um, which donates to Phoenix, um, Phoenix Youth. Um, and then they also, this year, they launched um, a Nova Scotia uh, inspired bars. So they're blueberry and dark chocolate with um, Nova Scotia saying. So this one says, imagine <laughs> dropping the eye. And then um, there's a couple of others. And so we, we do have a, a pretty good selection right now. But again, uh, if you go on the website later tonight and it's not there, um, we will be getting more and adding those as soon as they arrive. And so should be here. Maybe by the time you go in tonight, they'll be there. Um, and then uh, I guess we can also, well, maybe we'll steer into the Dartmouth for a few minutes. <laughs> so I also realized these weren't selling on the website because I didn't have them on the website. So um, let me tag up the way. Uh, the Dartmouth Crest t-shirts. We, um, we always get a lot of questions about these. So um, this year we only have the black. Um, it's sort of a thicker, so it's a made in Canada, like t-shirt blank. Um, it's made by a company called King Athletics. And so as the name would maybe suggest, it is a little bit more of an athletic feel than, um, some of the other, there, I'll tuck the tag in, um, than some of the other shirts, uh, that we carry. So it is, um, nice and heavy duty. Um, it has a really, like a really thick collar. Um, they're really, they're, they are really beautiful shirts, but just. Um, it's always nice to kind of know what you're getting in for. Um, and they, of course, have the Dartmouth crest on them. So always good for showing your Dartmouth love. Um, and we have them in small to 2XL for sure. I think we also have 3XL, but that I couldn't find when I was putting, um, putting them on the website. So if you are looking for that, um, I will do my best to get it up there. But also, again, you can always email me. I, <laughs> I would just add that that is a nice, crisp, almost dress t-shirt. I wear that with uh, when mm -hmm. I'm even, like, to work. And, we, yes. you know, it, it looks really nice. You can wear it for casual or you can kind of yeah, dress yeah. it up. It's hard to go wrong with a black, uh, a black t-shirt. Um, and then <laughs> the, woody, um, the woody ornaments we are sold out of. I know that everyone loves woody very much, maybe more this year than ever. Um, uh, last I heard, Strange Adventures had a few. Just go easy. They are they are ultimately just ornaments, and so um, now we know that you love them, so we can always get more. But they are they are sold out for us. We do have these amazing woody garlands from Paperback Life. Um, so it's about five feet, and just a cheerful little woody, and it just kind of is a repeating pattern. We also again. Um, if you've been around the train yard for a while, we've carried Leslie's garlands since the beginning. So she also makes seasonal, um, like seasonal banners that say things like happy birthday and, um, Merry Christmas and all sorts of, I guess happy birthday isn't seasonal, but you know where I'm going. <laughs> um, so we have happy holidays, happy new year. Uh, and she also makes a sweary version that has the F word placed in the middle of those. <laughs> uh, so 
both are available on the website. Um, there are a couple where we don't have pictures yet, uh, but you can always, again, I guess, email me. I'm, I'm asking for a lot of emails here. Um, <laughs> But um, they are, they're all sort of in a slightly different color, but um, we have those listed on the website as well. They're super fun. We, um, we love, I feel like every season now, I've collected enough of these banners that we can swap them out and it's always kind of an easy add-on. They also, if you are mailing, they are very nice and light to mail. Um, yeah, and I guess I have two more things to tell you about. <laughs> like, uh, so we have, we still have a good stock of our Dartmouth soaps. Uh, so they're made for us by Sarah at Badmouth Soap. Um, so she makes Tufts Cove, uh, which is kind of a licorice. We have Octoloni Street, that's coffee. Uh, we have a Portland Street one that's sort of a, a hybrid beer floral situation. <laughs> it smells great. It does smell great. Um, and then we have the Dartmouth Fairy, which is kind of, a nice and fresh, um, fresh scent. I also, as I'm saying this, I'm like, we have complimentary candles that would also go with those that are made by Bundy Treasures. Um, so lots of, lots of things. I think um, <laughs> we were certainly overwhelmed by the Woody Love um, and weren't expecting that to be the big thing this year. So we don't have a lot of that, but we do have a lot of other great Dartmouth things if you are still looking for ways to um to show your dartmouth love we still have the dartmouth tukes we have lots of pillowcases uh, the inserts are also in pretty short supply but we do have the pillow covers um, we have a pretty good selection of dartmouth t-shirts um, lots of stickers and magnets and things like that so um cookie cutters yeah we do still have a few cookie cutters i am um, working on continuing again to continue continuing to add to the website, um, but there is a section called Dartmouth, so we've made it as easy as we can to direct you to the Dartmouth Love online. Um, and then I guess the, the only other, I guess two more fun things. Uh, so we just got these backpacks in this year and um, kind of was hoping that so many of you would be able to see them in person so we could talk about how awesome they are. They're um, from a company called Boogish in Montreal. And so they're um, like a canvas backpack they have a laptop sleeve, they're nice and big and roomy, a roll top with a zipper, lots of pockets. They're just, they're just spectacular backpacks. And uh, one of the most disappointing things about not being able to welcome you all in here is that we can't just talk about how cool everything is. Um, so they are listed on the website. You can also book a shop appointment um, or even uh, if you're if you're in the area and you want to knock on the door when we're in between appointments, you could always sneak in and take a take a look at any of the any of the things or ask us any questions. Um, can you yeah. bring it down? Yeah, Just because our friends on, on Facebook might be able to see a little bit better if you bring it down a little bit yeah. closer. It, the um, fasteners are very high quality. I was I was yeah. um, handling this a little bit earlier. Yeah. So it's uh, yeah. It has a roll top. It has a zipper. Um, it's just absolutely they're just absolutely wonderful and so they are made in montreal um we have them in a few colors so we have a navy and tan one left a green and gray one a pink one um a black and tan one left and then this blue um and so show the straps because they're yes. they're really comfy yes yeah padded straps it has a zipper pocket in the back uh the laptop sleeve and then it's kind of got a reinforced bottom so they're just they're really well made um and made in Canada, which is always, right, that's that's kind of our thing. So um, I was really excited to share them with you and sad that we can't talk about them in real life. <laughs> so also, I love to talk. Um, and then we also have, um, so these are made in Ontario, but they're um, just like little kids' costumes. Um, so we have some capes. Oh, this one has some fur from one of the others. <laughs> Uh, but so they're just like little velcro fastening capes for playing dress up and uh, there's a unicorn There's a couple of princess capes. There's some wizard capes Ooh. Um, And so they're super um, super lightweight. They're also designed so um, The company has sort of thought of everything. So they're machine washable uh, They fit um, so we have Some that are like a little bit smaller the unicorn capes. I think we even have like a 18 to 24 months um, but then they go up to like five, six years and there's definitely room to grow in them. Um, so I have got quite a few of these up on the website as well. Um, and yeah, so they're really fun. 
Um, yeah, and then I think that's all the big stuff that I wanted to to talk about. So talk about two things. Wait, how people can shop from you is one conversation. And then another, <laughs> how you have all this community support going on. People can help you with that too. Yes. So um, I guess we'll start with how you can shop with us. So we are, for the foreseeable future, only open for shopping appointments or shopping online. Um, so shopping appointments, super easy. You just go to our website, uh, trainyardstore.com. And it's right on the, the homepage, just scroll down a little bit and the, the calendar is there for booking and you can just um, pick the time. So I think that Tuesday and Wednesday are booked solid right now or definitely we're getting very close. So if you look and there's nothing available, um, that's why. Um, but Thursday and Friday still looked pretty good and Saturday, um, I think there were still a few spots. We have been just opening up a week at a time because where things are are still changing quite quickly. I uh, I don't want to risk having you all booked in for two weeks and then finding out that we're going to change everything again. So um, if something is really booked up and you're looking for another time or something like that, you can again always reach out. Um, also in the mornings, if you want to know, um, like if you wanted to sneak in, say just to get a cookie cutter or just to get a greeting card, um, you can also give us a call and um, we can let you know sort of when the, the best gap between appointments would be that you could sneak in uh, and just get that, that quick thing that you need if you don't feel like you need a full appointment. Um, yeah, our phone number, I guess, might be helpful. So it's uh, 902-407-5242. Um, and then, yes, on the website, we have, I would say probably, probably half our inventory or so is has probably made its way to the website, maybe a little bit more. Um, so I'm still, every night I am putting uh, more and more things on there. So if there's something that you are waiting to see, it's possible that it's sold out, um, but it's possible I just haven't made it that far yet. So we can always do, um, we can always do an over the phone e-transfer kind of order, or we can, um, we can figure out a way to get it, to get it to you one way or the other. Um, it's so, it's so very hard to not be able to just see you all in real life. And so this is very, uh, it's all very complicated. It all feels very complicated, um, but we're doing our best to try and make it as easy as possible for you to get everything um, that you want. I think on that same note, it is just Rachel and I running the whole, the whole thing right now. Um, Marilia helps us out on the weekends, but, um, Largely, it is it is Rachel answering the phone, packing the orders, um, keeping on top of the schedule, and so we um, we are doing our very best. But it is um, everything is taking more time than we would like, and so um, patience is also a really good thing to remember this time of year, especially since um, all of your favorite small businesses are kind of making it up as we go. <laughs> um, yeah. That's awesome. So many people really appreciate the website and I really appreciate the, the lovely comments and support from everybody watching today. Thank you so much. Yeah. Um, let's share the love right now and talk about some of the things you're doing to help a community right now. Okay, so um, can you see this or should I? Can I can see, see it. it. Move it over a little bit in the so, middle. That's, yeah. that's good. That's good. Yeah, so we, um, we had this box by the front door back in the days when you could come in, um, but we always collect donations for the North Grove, which um, again, I imagine uh, most of you are probably familiar with, but um, it's a commute, basically a community center in the North End of Dartmouth. And so they have a, a food center and then they have a family center and they recently amalgamated into one amazing, super, just super love organization. And it's just incredible and we love it so much. Um, but one of the things that they offer is a, um, a trading cupboard. And so again, it works much easier in non-COVID times, um, but uh, participants and members of the community can come and take things that they need. So things like um, diapers and wipes and toilet paper, shampoo, toothpaste, um, deodorant, like basic hygiene um, items. They can come and take what they need and then um, they can also leave. So the idea is right to make it a uh, reciprocal and sort of um, an empowering situation. So they can also um, leave what they're able to leave um, for someone else to use. And so we always collect donations on behalf of that. Um, and then this time of year, 
uh, both the North Grove and then another amazing Dartmouth organization, Lake City Works, um, which works to empower adults that might have barriers to entering the traditional workforce. And it, um, they offer a lot of really great hands-on training programs and woodworking and things like that. Um, so they also have, if you have, just a side note, if you have old tech, like an old phone or an old laptop that you don't need, they rebuild those and are able to um, repair them and resell them. And it also keeps your old tech out of the garbage, which is wow. amazing. So we also love them very much. <laughs> and um, they, uh, so both the North Grove and uh, Lake City are uh, putting together gift um, gifts for some of their participants and clients um, to just let them know how loved they are this year, of course, um, more than ever. Um, so we are collecting sort of more, a, a wider variety of things than we normally take. Um, so hats and mittens, warm socks, um, agendas, puzzle books, calendars, um, unopened, so again, like um, unused hats and mitts and socks, like sort of new condition. Um, also calendars, agendas, um, unopened makeup, uh, deodorant, uh, but sort of veering a little bit of more um, more into gift than personal care, uh, like necessities, um, just so that they, um, cause I heard last year, I remember Lake City, pardon me, I'm talking so much. <laughs> I remember talking with Lake City last year and it's, um, these might be part of the only gift that some of the clients are getting to open. And so sort of making sure that, that sort of what we're kind of aiming to collect and what we're giving are things that are going to make someone feel really loved. Um, so we are accepting those donations in person. If you aren't able um, or don't need to make an appointment, uh, but just happen to be in the area, you can always drop them off on our ramp. Rachel and I are here um, consistently Tuesdays to Fridays, 10 to five, um, and Saturdays 10, about 10 to five as well. So Tuesday, Saturday, 10 to five, you can just drop it off on the ramp and just give a little knock so we know it's there. Um, if that works for you, or um, you're welcome to bring it during a shopping appointment, or if you're picking up an order and you just want to do a swap, we are happy to take um, to take donations anytime. So again, it's mostly um, it's all unused, a new condition, uh, personal care items, makeup, uh, puzzle books, uh, socks, hats, mittens, things like that. Um, yeah. Sounds great. Well, <laughs> Kimber, that was amazing. Any last words you have before you say bye to your <laughs> lovely community? I just love you all so much. It's very weird because I'm always looking at myself when I'm talking, and so it's very, uh, it's very unsettling. I just kind of assume that everyone who watches me talk on the internet is my friend. Um, so I'm just assuming that we're all friends, and so I just very, we are so incredibly grateful. Um, this year has been 